Hi there, this is Baron again. As you clearly see, we cleaned out the club. Um, all the Ren Rocker personnel is dead. Somebody in the booth here? No, just the old man. So let's check our notes. Did something change? That probably is new. Mako's orders were to keep track of Michael's progress after the team's demise. A new project director replaced Mako, his name was Aitu Ogami. Okay, and two other notes, uh, you know, vanished since we found the Mako guy and dealt with him. So, we're going to leave the club and return, because normally there's a Shadowrunner in here. Right now she's gone, because of the, you know, the fight. But once we enter again, she will be there. See, if you had like uh, a, a samurai in your party or a dagger, and you would still need a decent mage, you could hire her. You see, an elf in the corner dresses in a bright blue gown. She addresses you as you near. What do you need? Well, you could ask for some information. What would she say? Oh, sure, Chama. We all want answers. So, what's your story? I hear you're the new golden child, number one with a bullet and all and the jazz. So I guess I can trust you, I'm Freya. When I was young I discovered I had latent magical skills. My tribe, the Cascade Crow, viewed her magic mage as blasphemous. So I ran away and fell with a radical poli and fell in with a radical political group. They trained me to become an assassin using magic as my weapon, with corporate officials as my targets. I did my job in a sweat. But I grew tired of their control over me and escaped into the shadows. Been running them since So okay, that's probably it. Can she answer some questions? What do you know about the Johnson named Vigor? He's too slick for his own good. The contracts are good and there's no doubt that the new year is good as well, but there's more going on with him that meets the eye, be careful of that one. Okay, do you know any other Johnsons? Well, there's Julius Stroud who I like to do runs for. He's got a boost reserved over the matchstick in downtown Seattle. He's as close to an honest dwarf as you will find in this sprawl. Fair with your contracts and your pay. Okay, that's all. But she could, you could hire her, but she would say, we already got our hands full, okay. And we don't need another mage. So let's head out here. And you remember Mako said that, that the Aito guy would probably stay at a very posh hotel. And the best hotel here is the seaside thingy in downtown Seattle. You know, with the, with the nice view and stuff. So we're going to check that out, perhaps he's there. Oh no, Mr. Gami just left for his meeting. His private car was headed for matchsticks. If you hurry, you might just make it. Okay, I say we hurry then, eh? The matchstick is probably somewhere around here, CDM. That's the matchstick, okay, we enter. This is Matchstick, a high-class nightclub that caters the corporate clientele of downtown Seattle. A well-built and dressed human guards the door, checking IDs and credit sticks. Well, I'd like to go in. You push your way into the club. Ito and a group of corporate types are having a meeting around a large table. Ito sees the deadly intent in your eyes and calls warning to the others. The suits scramble from the booth, fumbling amateurishly for their guns. Aito produces an Uzi, expertly handling its bulk as the others move to his defense. Even though you just wanted Aito, it seems these guys are looking for death by association. Okay, so that's what we do. We kick some ass. The orc went down, that's not good. Doing any damage, can it be? Probably, okay. Well, if bullets don't work, try something else, I say. How about Flame Bolt? Oh, that worked. Okay. Aito's leaden body and numerous papers lie scattered about. Being a soft mark for opportunity, you grab all you can. You find... What do we find? A holopix of Michael and a heavily cybered Amerindian. The holo's composition suggests it was shot without their notice. A date and timestamp on the lower corner reveal it was taken on the morning before Michael's death. 
a holopix labeled crime scene. This shows the scene where Michael and his team were ambushed. No survivors is written across the button. Surveillance report. Subject Stark spent most of his time away from the crew preparing for the run on its own. Once on the way, he was most at ease in the woods. However, he was constantly on edge as if he knew something was wrong. Subject Vigor was extremely hard to follow as he is expert at covering his trail. He appears to work for Thon, tracking leads and confirmation, uh, confirming information. Suspect, suspected to be a top aide, but this is unconfirmed at present. Admits the papers you find when Raku Corp issue credit stick with a balance of 10,000 New Yen. You quickly download the money to your credit stick before when Raku can issue and hold on the funds. The last item is a passcode for Ito's personal computer system written on a scrap of paper. Not a good thing as far as security is concerned, but a lucky break for you. And that's it. Well, how come our hawk didn't survive that? Let's heal him again, I say. Come on. Eh? Now it works, okay. I think she can take a little healing as well. Okay. Everyone's good to go. I don't. I'm not so sure that the HK227 should be a very good gun, but somehow I have the feeling that the heavy predator, you know, the predator gun was better than the heavy pistol. Hmm. Okay. Now that we have the passcode for ITO system, let's check out um, the cyberspace here. Should probably save. Oh, we have a nice amount of money. See? Enter Ito's passcode. And we start. We lost our program, I don't get it. See, now the attack program is gone. Let's leave here, I say. And reload. Okay. Next try. Accepted. And we're in. Okay. So there's the CPU. Evaded. Wow, she can take quite a punishment. Okay. Now there are some nodes, some data store. We're going to check them out. See what we can find. We are attacked by the ice. But everything is fine as long as we don't lose our programs. Interesting file. No, I don't need that. Thank you. Leave note. So I'm going to check out um, the other data nodes here, data stores, and then I will turn the video back on. So hold on for a second. So I found a few interesting files, and now I'm going to, you know, leave the system.
So, let's check what did we find. Now we have 19 files. With Ito dead, maybe a run against a rocker will gone or something, okay. That probably is new as well. Okay. Well, I think we're going to read all those files probably in the next video. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.